All right, Hannah, thanks. And with the cold weather, this next story is very appropriate. Hundreds of figure skaters are in Fort Wayne for the Eastern Great Lakes Championship. This is the first time the event has been held in Indiana. News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson spoke with some of the local skaters. She joins us in Studio 15 with more. Competitors laced up their skates and hit the ice at Parkview Ice House. The Fort Wayne Ice Skating Club is hosting the four-day competition. It started Saturday and will continue through Tuesday. Figure skaters from nine different states are competing for their chance to qualify for the Midwestern Championship next month. Elise Wellman is one of them. I've been ice skating for 12 years now since I was like five years old. She's one of 500 people hoping to get to the next level. It's just really neat like seeing all these like amazing skaters that like will go on to sectionals and later to nationals. Only the top four skaters from each of the men's and women's categories will qualify to go to sectionals. The constant like challenges it gives you to like to do a, like a jump or a spin and like the constant like possibility that there's always something better you can do in the future. Participants range in age from 12 to 28. They make it look easy, but training for the competitions requires a lot of hard work. I skate six days a week and I try to skate around 40 hours a week. 15-year-old Sasha Lunin is already on his way to sectionals. I had the option to not compete because there's less than four people. So I'm, so I'm going straight to the next competition, which is sectionals in Cleveland. He's confident, though, that his journey to nationals won't stop there. Pretty confident that I can do it, and I have a feeling that I can make it to the championship and down in St. Paul, Minnesota. Organizers say the event brought more than 1,400 skaters, parents, and figure skating officials to the city. They hope to bring the competition back to Fort Wayne in the next few years. Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.